what is up guys so this video is basically an update slash continuation of a video that i uploaded a year ago or like a year and a half ago I'm not sure how long that is from today but yeah quite some time ago and uh, funnily enough it's actually one of the biggest videos of the channels of the channel it's like the video that actually like blew up the most but i thought it'd be worthwhile to basically update the content because if you watch it right now you'll notice that some of the stuff is quote unquote expired or there's just better ways to do it at the end of the day and i'll pause the i'll mute the mic just to showcase some of the parts the, i don't know why it caught my attention specifically covered roller whilst you're doing a hot into phantom buster and the way it works is so it's this part like the seo quake part that's definitely outdated because now nowadays we have what's called scrape box essentially so uh the whole point is if you have a um, if you have a lot of listings on Google search results and you basically want to scrape all the data that there is so Instagram profiles LinkedIn profiles Twitter profiles emails etc uh, the two tools that you would basically need is number one scrape box there's a discounted link in the description there should be and then the second one is essentially phantom buster and there's a free trial but their free trial is perfect essentially the only thing that you need are so scrape box uh, and to pull this Let's just go back to the results you'd basically take real estate and then we'll just do like a location so end and then the apostrophe of apostrophe new york basically says that um, we want all real estate google search listings and we want them to include new york new york doesn't necessarily mean location it just means that the text would include new york which logically would make it new york bound but of course this isn't 100 percent certain but uh for the sake of just demonstrating the quote-unquote scrape um just click on start harvesting uh with google and then start and uh, i'm basically running scrape box right now with the uh this is the detailed harvester this one right here so detailed harvester now for everybody who's like what is this tool and what is what, like what are you doing right now um which i can understand because like i have a tendency right now to just jump into topics with like no introduction or whatever um, there's a bunch of videos already on the channel so on inside insight uh, so if you just head over to our channel your channel right here you'll see like a lot a lot a lot a lot of videos basically showcasing this full thing like exactly what i'm doing right now so scrape box and um, everything so everything from like b2b lead generation to uh, scraping emails setting up email campaigns cleaning email lists so that you're not doing anything illegal uh and you're like not hitting like stupidly insane bounce rates um so all of that is here but so once you have the results and once the uh, scrape is basically complete on scrape box um it's pretty simple from here so essentially scrapebox what it does is it collects all the results from here from all the pages right and you can include variable keywords as well and it's going to collect them and it also serves as a pretty slick uh base from which you can remove duplicates uh play around with the uh with the urls further check if they're alive check if they're registered etc so there's a lot that you can do um but this takes all the listings directly from the search results places it directly into scrape box right and then what you would do is you would export the url list as text or you would even export it to uh the clipboard basically then for us uh, for phantom buster uh a lot of what you do will require a google sheet so in this case what we did was we copied all the results from scrape box right directly into the google sheet itself so it's all right here then what we'll do is we'll name this sheet uh sheet we'll call it sheet one and um once that's done you see that we have all the results so all these results are basically all the results coming from the google search results essentially uh, it's as simple as it gets so what you want to do is you want to share this right as visible to everybody so change to anyone with the link etc uh anyone with the link done and then share get your link as well okay why is this happening anyone with the link copy link done so the second thing that you basically need to do or the third that you essentially need to do is you need to hop over to phantom buster click on dashboard and in this case we're heading over to phantoms uh, you click on all categories and then you click on the data scraping crawler so it should be data scraping it's this one uh, you click on it should be somewhere in the middle 
uh, and then you click on use this phantom. Now again, phantom buster is free, square box is like 50 bucks essentially, but you, square box is lifetime, so you buy it once, you use it for the rest of your life, it's like a lifetime deal, and it's a tool that's 10 years old, and like um, it's probably one of the best tools that I've ever bought. So share, uh, you just paste this here essentially, save, and then uh, it asks you for what data do you want to scrape. So in this case, you can scrape for emails, phone numbers, Facebook profiles, if you're going to automate on Facebook, Instagram profiles, if you're going to automate on Instagram, Twitter profiles, if you're going to automate on Twitter. We have a video for that as well. Should be somewhere on the channel page called Twitter Automation. Um, and then same for LinkedIn and YouTube channels. Save. Uh, depth basically is how many pages deep do you want to scrape into so the first page itself is basically the home page that's depth zero depth one are all the pages that are linked from the home page further so it could be an additional three pages but that's depth one depth two are basically all the pages that are linked from depth one pages further etc and pretty simple so in this case we'll do depth zero uh, and exit after X pages open so number of sub pages maximum two. save um, milliseconds to wait before scraping the page, give it like three, usually there's a timeout, so for the page to load or anything of this to happen, sometimes there's like elements that will open after three seconds uh, of you opening the page, just to either combat scrapers or there's a million of reasons. Uh, number of websites to process per launch, all of them if empty, all, and then save, and then run, and you should see the uh, you should see the uh, progress of the data directly on the console. All in all, it's a insanely simple process. Um, what can you do with this data? Uh, you can do a lot. So you can also see that it's picking up like um, crappy emails at the end of the day, like this one here, which uh, I wouldn't have pointed out a year ago because I probably wouldn't have seen this myself. Um, but email found, so at sentry.io. So this is a crappy email. So anything at sentry.io, you want to remove immediately. Usually these emails, I don't know if they're spam traps, and spam traps are basically emails that are uh, that are put in place by uh, spam databases in order to get spammers and scrapers, right? And then basically essentially screw them and decrease their domain reputation. So that could be that, but you need to clean this. So you do a, you do a control F and then remove anything with the ad sentry.io. Then uh, unblock request at realtor. Uh, so a lot of you're gonna get a lot of irrelevant emails. You're gonna get a lot of good phone numbers as well. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of uh, social uh, social profiles, so Facebook pages, Instagram pages, Twitter pages, etc. You're gonna get a lot of data. What you can do with this data? Uh, you're able to do a cold email outreach. Clean the data though, and make sure that you go over all the links one by one, uh, just to make sure that uh, you're not just spamming and sending emails that are totally irrelevant. And make sure you're outreaching with like you're following the, the, the laws of your state or of your country. Then uh, you can outreach via LinkedIn through automation. You can send in mails. Uh, you can essentially also use the emails, I think, to create custom audiences on several platforms like LinkedIn, for instance. I know you can do that. Uh, then you're able to automate on Twitter as well. We've got a video about this on the channel itself. Um, so you're able to send them a message through Twitter automation if their privacy settings are open. Um, you're able to to you're able to do a lot essentially because data is like the the first frontier with regards to uh any automation or whatever you can do but essentially yeah uh, that's that so the 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 first thing is of course uh using scrape box in order to basically um overcome the the previous limitations so like a lot of people on this video had a problem with uh, the spreadsheet and wor working with that and the codes etc you could see that uh, most of the people are asking for the cleaning formula. That's essentially avoidable with Scrapebox. But if you did want to do it with um, SEO Quake and SEO Quake only, um, let's actually see if you can do it with SEO Quake still. So you'd have to download SEO Quake to begin with. So I'll just download it right now for the sake of the people that want to do it entirely for free. Enable, remove, where is it? SEO quick, pin, done. Then let's head over to, so real estate agent in New York, SEO quick, then search report parameters, search results, okay, great. Export a CSV, done. So then this is our document right here. This is the document that I was mentioning in the previous video uh, about using. You get a lot of these like, wait, wait. 
this you want to remove immediately and then you don't even need a formula anymore to basically uh, clean the data so this you can essentially uh, just rename so some much whatever this is a header so links um, and then anything after the apostrophes you would want to remove because it's all of it is useless so then and then replace with https done so replace all as you can see it's done so 101 replacements which seems pretty adequate only in this case like still go over the data just to make sure it's clean just add asterisk asterisk basically means like anything essentially so it replaces anything and then to replace the second the second asterisk right there just find what asterisk and then 888 just everything essentially and replace it as blank done um so it still hasn't like 93 you need to make sure that these segments are clean uh find what and replace with http in this case yeah so these two were left out because you have two protocols you have https and then you have http so in some cases it's http and in some cases it's https you just need to make sure that both are cleaned and then to remove all the weight weight and all that stuff uh, essentially what you would do is um, remove everything after the asterisk so find what and then asterisk and then 888 replace with and just remove it totally so remove remove replace done and then all the data is clean essentially as you can see here so then this data you'd copy it right and then you'd head over to the uh, oops you'd head over to the google sheet you'd paste it here plug it into the data scraping crawler and then essentially you have the the emails and the data that it's going to pull out now the data that it's going to give out to you is going to be available in json format and csv format and it's going to give you a link you just copy the link click on the csv download it and then you have all the data to manipulate it uh to manipulate the data essentially i have like we have like a lot of videos on the channel check them out they're all there and uh, essentially that's that super uh super super easy process um a bit of screwing around with the excel sheet essentially just to remove the the records before http and then after the asterisk or after the actual url but it's definitely possible so in this video i've basically showcased two ways the free way with seo quake and then the paid way with scrapebox and i highly suggest you get scrapebox if you're into this type of stuff because it's probably one of the best tools on the market thank you very much guys um i'll catch you on the next one